Hello everyone, in this part I'm going to show you how to initialize Pygame to work within your project. So if we go to the official Pygame uh, website, we just go there, and we look at the installation, we can see that it recommends to use pip. So that's what we're going to do. So first you got to go to your file explorer and locate where you have installed Python. Once you're there, locate the folder called scripts and copy the path. Now, go to your search bar and type CMD. Right click to run as administrator and say yes. Now type in CD and just paste the path. I just use control C, control V. Once we are there, we can say pip install and just simply look at this. It says uh, pygame dash dash user. So we're gonna wait for the installation to complete. While this is happening in the background, I'm gonna show you the program I'm using to uh, write my code, and it's called it's called PyCharm. You can go on Google and type in PyCharm. Simply go to the download uh, link and click on download. So now it says successfully installed Pygame. We can go and create a new project, select the correct uh, version of Python. In my case, I was using Python 3.5 and give the project a name. We're just going to uh, call it Breakout Game. Give it a name. This is the interface of um, PyCharm. So on the top left corner under project, you will most likely see the title you gave to your project. Simply right click that, go on new, Python file, and just call it main. So that simply creates a brand new uh, page, text page. Uh, which is called main.py. So to verify that Pygame installed correctly, just type in import Pygame and let's just uh, say pygame.init then type in pygame.display.set uh, caption to give our program a title and we'll call it game or breakout game. And then say pygame dot display dot um, set mode, open the brackets, just give it a width and a height and press F5 and run. And if you see a window appear and disappear and it says process finished with exit code zero. That means everything worked correctly. So that's it for the setup. In the next tutorial, we're going to start making the game.